everyone and welcome back to cause streams tv as always i am cause and we are finishing up week 11 of season 4 and i don't know if you've noticed things are starting to die down a little bit we're reaching the end of the expansion everyone's excited for something new so things are kind of chilling a bit right so usually i would jump into some mops mop remix stuff but let's change it up this week let's talk about the title of the video that was fun and what was fun exactly well listen to this i always play tank and that's what you guys mostly see on this channel however i've been saying i wanted to play some dps and play some of my alts well my red paladin actually got into a two and the group i was in was actually pretty low item level so the two was challenging for our gear level we had 480 a 478 i think maybe a 502 in there we were definitely all under 500 so a two older men felt kind of fun to play and i was blasting on the paladin it felt so good to play like a range style melee and i know that's changing in the war within and i'm kind of sad about that but for now i'm going to continue enjoying the ret paladin he's a lot of fun of course i'm going in there at 480 so not really a huge item level but i had fun right like that's the point of it so we went in there we blasted a two older and had a fantastic time and i also so that means with that we will have a vault to look at on the paladin today so let's take a look at what he gets in his vault all right so we're going to be opening the vault in red spec so let's see what we get in the paladin's vaults we have 509 hero track boots that is a massive upgrade for the paladin which will oops which will bring our item level up to 482.31 from 480 not bad and he starts with a six azure vaults so with the paladin i definitely want to continue to play him more this week like i said always playing a tank i finally found a class that i enjoyed dpsing on and it, this for some reason it felt like i was playing the ret paladin from bfa just i really enjoyed it so i'm gonna play him a lo little more this week and see if we can get his uh 480 up to like let's say 500 let's try to push that let's see what happens with him during this week and since we're talking about alts that i was playing i played another alt this week and i jumped on the warrior and played him a little bit he's only 488.5 so nothing major but i had fun blasting the three that he got into doing lots of damage really spammy class he just felt really fun holding his shield and pressing thunder thunderclap there's something so satisfying while playing a Valpyrian warrior in keys so he was a lot of fun this is the other alt we played i was hoping to get on maybe do the druid and maybe play the mage but they're so low i level the druid might be able to get into a key the mage i really doubt same with like my evoker or my rogue they're all like 424 but i'd have to do heroics before i get into mythic zero then i can do some mythic plus right so i figured you know what let's play the ones that are actually geared so yeah i played the warrior he was a lot of fun and that means we now have another vault we can look at so let's take a look at what the warrior gets in his vault today and up next we have the warrior we're opening it in arms and let's see what we get in his vaults 509 wrists hero track another massive upgrade from 470 this will bring his item level up to 488 to 490.94 fantastic upgrade on the warrior and because i actually did enjoy playing the warrior this week and both my monk and my dk are basically 526 plus i might play him a little more too just throw out a two or a three here and there and see how he feels in some other keys this week on fortified and no week is complete without talking about your main character and this week it was once again my death knight my main and if you guys remember i want to mention this last week i bought a golden helmet that looked like a sharp battering ram type of helmet is how i described it well in the trading post this week there is a purple version of that helmet so i bought the helmet and i gave myself a purple transmog so here is the death knight's new transmog matching the helmet it was as purpley as I could get, even though not everything matches. This was the best I could do in such short notice. So I absolutely love how this turned out with the mythic shoulders from this season's tier and the headpiece that we got at the trading post. So exciting. That's the DK. Uh, what did we do on the DK last week? We did do a, about four keys, four mythic pluses, just to get the two vault slots. And so I was going to run LFR on the DK to try to get some of the transmog pieces from this tiers, uh, from Amir Drasil's LFR set, because I love the red and silver tones on it. However, if you go into Raid Finder and already have the mythic version of the tier, you can't even 
admiral greed or need on it you can only transmog and there's always someone in there that actually needs it so i couldn't get it this might be one of those sets i have to circle back to or find pieces that don't have the tier on them and try to need on it maybe i can cheat the system i doubt it but hey i tried right so i will have a vault slot for that as well and quickly as always let's take a look at some of the gear upgrades we got on the death knight this week nothing major but we did do a few upgrades his neck piece is now 404 mythic his shoulders are now 404 mythic and we also upgrade the awakened ring to 12 of 12 12, bringing it up to max level as well i think that netted us maybe a little bit of an eye level a percentage of it or so nothing crazy but he is now 526 he's in a very good place so i'm pretty happy with that all right and let's take a look at what the death knight gets in his vault we are opening it in on holy spec as always and this week we get the lfr boots because we ran the lfr just to try to get some transmog this does count towards the appearance we have a mythic track hands crit mastery and we already have crit verse we are very heavy on mastery so we will not be taking that and then we also have a haste mastery neck which would probably be really good for unholy so it's looking like this week i think i'm just going to take the sockets because there's still a bunch of pieces the death knight actually can socket like his main ring that is 528 so that is what we are getting this week and this has been a really good week for mounts this week we actually got three new mounts let's start off with the one you can buy at the trading post this week this is the underlight corrupted behemoth this one we got from the trading post, a quick and easy, really neat mount. It's a, like a neat looking purpley fish with three eyes. I like this one. I think the textures and design are really good on it. Something different, which is a nice change. And next we got the catalog shale wing, the one you get from the researchers under fire weekly quest that you can do down in Zeralic caverns. So we also got that. We've been farming this one for a while, joining groups, trying to get it done. And here it is. Definitely like the bony look to this one with the flames on it. It is a fantastic mount, so I'm glad I finally got that. And last up, we finally did it. We finished the journey in King's Rest, and we got the Tomb Stalker, the Mummified Raptor, and we do not have to go back there. I'm super excited. It was about 75 total attempts. What's left now in BFA is to continue to do the Underrot. To get the mount out of there that one i'm up to 107 attempts so far and still nothing but here it is the mummified raptor extremely happy i got this mount king's rest is now over and in other world of warcraft news as you would expect we played more mop remix we definitely did a lot on the brett paladin we the paladin now is about at 7 million hp it was just blasting through some of the raids it felt really good to do it we did a mythic siege of orgrimmar as well which we did in under an hour it was a fantastic run so lots of threads building up on the paladin and as always i told you guys last week that i started a rogue so well here we are i actually am picking up all of the bronze and all the threads in his bags and well as you would expect from level 36 we're gonna go blast up to level 70 because why not? This is actually a new record for me. This is the lowest I've had an alt be able to go from like as soon as they open the mailbox straight up to 70. So yeah, this was the lowest 36 and successfully we went from 36 straight up to level 70. Really exciting. But now what? Now what? The rogue is now done. I've got another alt ready to go. So I looked at the server I'm on and I said, well, you know what? I'm going to need at least four characters on this server for my warband right well so i decided to start some new characters and this time i'm going to work on them at the same time because it's so quick to go from 36 to 70 it doesn't take long to get to 36 either a few days so anyway we hopped on hygel we went back and, and we created another character i made cause light the paladin this is going to be most likely a prop paladin on this server but we made him a gnome and we're gonna see how that goes but now that gives, that gives me four characters on this realm so i can have my warband if i'd like to i have a dps and three tanks technically and because I started one character and really all you have to do is log in and do the heroic and then do this heroic scenario and log off for the day until you can do Mogashan Vault's level 20, I said, you know what, let's make another character. I've always wanted an orc chamois, so I said, hey, let's make an orc chamois. So that's what I did. He's level 15. I made cosmetic my orc chamois. He's going to be most likely elemental resto 
who knows i've never played enhanced maybe i'll even try that but yeah so we've also made cosmetic as well so that is really it for week 11. I helped a lot of people in Mop Remix this week, so I don't really have a lot of footage of doing other stuff. And I didn't, and I got to play some of my alts in retail. I'm happy with how this week went. All right, so let's get down to brass tacks here. What is the plan for week 11 of season four in Dragonflight? Well, we're going to keep doing what we've been doing. There's a lot going on outside, outside of World of Warcraft for me in life right now. So that has really taken up a lot of my time. So I'm limited in what I can do in a game. A lot of the alts I want to play or get them up to spec, I don't have the time to do it but i will try my best this week to actually just play an alt or two again like i did this week play my paladin play my warrior i'll definitely play my dk more i want to keep getting more and more gear on him and keep upgrading his items until he's at max or getting sockets outside of that obviously in mop remix i do plan on getting the shaman and my gnome paladin up to level 70 and then probably just helping some more people out it's been kind of nice because i have two geared characters now i'm actually able to help my friends uh, build groups take them to raids and get them the achievements they need so i've been spending time doing that we queue up for the heroics they need the scenarios they need getting them rings and trinkets and they're all having fun and i'm actually enjoying it right so that is what i'm probably going to be doing this week on top of that our guild is still doing the mythic barak farm so i'll be doing that i do plan on streaming for anyone who's new who's just come back you've stuck around this long for the video a lot of you aren't subscribers so please hit that like and subscribe button it helps me helps me go a long way to try and reach my my 1000 subscribers i hope you guys are having a fantastic week you enjoyed this video whatever you do in the world of warcraft i hope you're enjoying it i hope the vaults were good for you this week and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.